The world of Pal World is immersive, and I want to make sure that when you go into the world, you're 100% prepared to what you might encounter, whether it be a pal, whether it be foes attacking and raiding your base. So we created a guide that's going to help you get you started on the right step to make sure you are 100% for whatever the game throws at you. Welcome to our Pal World Beginner Guide, where I'm going to provide you all the most valuable information that will help you get completely set up with your base, with your pals, and of course, your character. Now, Pal World is an immersive world, so I'm going to give you guys the best beginner tips I could give you. I will have a separate video going over more advanced stuff because there is a ton of things to cover in the game, and I can literally make this video like 30 to 45 minutes. So I want to save you guys a couple times because I know you guys want to make sure you guys go in there and play it right off the bat. So let's go ahead and get started with this Pal World's Beginner Guide. All right, so let's start off with the first thing I think you should definitely make sure you consider when you're playing the game, and that is determining where you're going to build your base. It's extremely important that you don't just build your base in any random spot. You're going to want to make sure you put this strategically because remember, your base will also serve as a spawn point that you could fast travel to. So when you start off the game, the game's going to put you into an area where there already is a spawn point available. What I would recommend is make sure you set up your base in an area where there is enough trees and where there is enough rocks that provide two of the most essential materials you're going to need early in the game. Number one, rocks and number one, wood. So the first beginner tip I want to give is don't just put your base anywhere. Make sure you choose in a strategic place that's going to give you access to the following things. Number one, a really good fast travel point. Number two, a really good area that has a lot of trees because you're going to need a lot of wood, a place that has rocks, and you're going to want to make sure you find a place that also has ore, which are like the rock that looks kind of like brown and gold. And in addition to that, you want to make sure you choose a place that has a very wide range of land because as you progress throughout the game, you're going to need to build a lot of stuff. And unfortunately, if you pick a little small area, then you're going to be like, oh crap, I need to build another base. So you want to make sure you put these four elements into your number one priority. And this is definitely one of the most important things right when you're getting started. All right, so now on to tip number two. Now that you guys are already set up, you have your base. So another thing that becomes super essential, guys, is making sure you have stuff to make your life easier. And when I say making your stuff easier is being able to craft faster and being able to gather items quicker. So the first thing I would recommend when you're doing the game is try to craft the pickaxe as quickly as you possibly can. This is going to speed the things up, for example, on harvesting trees and harvesting rocks. Unfortunately, when you start off the game, you're only going to have your fist out. So it's going to make it a little bit more time consuming to get that done. So you want to make sure you craft that as quickly as you possibly can. All right. So after you have your pickaxe, the step number two you want to make, guys, and this is going to be uh, tied in with step number three. But just in case this is step number two, you want to make sure you make a campfire. Now, the reason you want to make a campfire is because you want to make this before you hit the night cycle, because once you hit the night cycle, the wind starts pushing in. It starts getting cold and the cold starts affecting your health and you could possibly die if you don't have a campfire. So you want to make sure you set up a campfire as quickly as you can because you don't want it the night to come where you don't have a campfire okay so now moving on to step number three which I, is tied in with step number two and that is building a bed okay it's extremely important if you can't build a campfire or want to skip the campfire early and want to go straight to build a bed that's what i would recommend but if you still want to build a campfire i personally built a campfire first and i was like man i should have built a bed you know before but uh for you guys that are watching this video uh, if you want to build a bed, I would recommend the bed before the campfire. So the reason why we want to build a bed is for the following reason. Like I said, you want to avoid the night cycle due to the fact that the night cycle not only is more dangerous, but it gets cold and the cold starts hurting your health. So if you let it get too chilly and you don't have access to the campfire or can't make it to the campfire or just don't want to wait that long for the night cycle to finish, that is where the bed comes into play. Because if you build a bed, you can literally go lay on the bed, fall asleep, and it's daytime all over again this not only speeds up the process of the game but it makes it go a lot faster so what i would recommend make down a bed now in order to make a bed you need to have a couple things in your arsenal you need to have a lot of wood which is why we crafted the pickaxe and number two you got to lay down a foundation and on top of that you also have to build a roof and a bed so you have to have a good amount of wood so what i would recommend is get your foundation up get two walls put it in a nice little area place down your bed and this is going to save you a lot of time 
and it's going to make the game go a lot quicker and it's going to save you from those cold nights. Okay, so now that you got kind of your base already settled in, let's talk about how you can make yourself better and how you can hunt pals and what pals I recommend you get early. So the first thing I want to recommend, guys, let's talk about hunting. So you're going to want to make sure that when you give it, get the options to spend your points, that you're crafting the right stuff. So the first thing you need to craft after the pickaxe is you need to craft the bow and you need to make yourself some arrows. This is going to make your life a lot easier due to the fact that instead of having to go melee or punch the pals, you could just use your bow and arrow to kind of get, you know, reduce their health and start collecting pals. Now I'm going to say which pals I recommend. There's two that are going to be very essential to the early gameplay of the game. I will have a separate video on what are the best early pals to pick up and why in another video so you're going to make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn on those notifications so you guys don't miss that video and do drop a like to support the channel a lot and that being said craft yourself a bow and make yourself some arrows just to make that hunting a lot more easier okay so one of the early pals that i recommend you pick up is called a lamb ball now this is pretty much a little lamb that's like a little ball it's a really cute one but the reason why you want to collect this one is for two main reasons. Number one, he has three different aspects that are gonna be crucial for your early stages of the game. He's gonna have the handiwork and he's gonna have the transporting and the farming. It's gonna be important because he's gonna be able to do three jobs at once. So when you're playing early, you wanna have a pal that's able to do multiple jobs to make your life go a little bit easier. He's not that great for attack. He's not that great for defense, but the reason we like him is because he's really good at working. Now I'm going to recommend another pal that's going to be crucial to not only defend your base, but also work in it as well. All right, so the second pal you want to capture is one that's called Kativa. Now this is going to be a little cat. He's pink. He's cute. He's adorable. But the reason why we like him is for three major things. Number one, he's really good at defending your base because he has Punch Fury and Air Cannon. So he has two active skills that are going to be really important. Now, Speaking of that, his work sustainability is actually amazing. So what I like to do with him is I like to get one not only for the, uh, you know, for my farming or for my base, but I also like to get him as my personal pal at the early stages because he's the one that I use to go ahead out and hunting for pals, but he's really good when it comes to defending your base if you guys get raided. So his work stability is really good because he has handy work. So that means he's able to go and work on the workbenches. He has transporting. So for example, if you farm berries or you farm logs, he's able to transport that from one place to another one. He does gathering, which is going to help you gather, you know, like, you know, fruits and stuff like that. And he does one important thing, which is mining, which is going to become crucial because you do need a lot of rocks and he's going to be able to mine later on in the game. So really good pal to have and one that I recommend you pick up early in the stage. And these are the two main pals you want to have not only in your base and also you want to make sure you have captive early stage because he's not that hard to capture. And he's going to help you guys capture bigger pals later along in the game. Make sure you always take a look at their passive skills as well to determine which one you want to place where and where. All right, so now let's talk about things that I would recommend. I'm going to have a separate video going on where you should spend your first 25 points when you're playing the game. But one thing I want to recommend at early stages is do not spend your points on certain skills that are not really important at the early stages of the game. Now, what I mean by that is when you're playing the game, you're going to be given points to, for your character, for your, you know, to be able to spend points in. I would recommend at least spend your first points when it comes to the carry capacity, because this is going to be crucial at the early stages of the game. So that's going to be another tip. Another thing I want to recommend, guys, is when it comes to crafting, you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and craft the following. You want to make sure you craft the shield. Now, the reason why the shield is extremely important is because the shield is going to give you a huge boost when it comes to survivability instead of you spending points when it comes to you boosting your health so definitely craft a shield when that comes available it does come available early stages so don't overspend your points in something else craft the shield as quickly as you can the next thing i want to recommend is make sure you guys make a repair bench a repair bench is going to be crucial and one thing that shouldn't be skipped the reason why is because since you're going to be using your pickaxe quite often you want to make sure that your pickaxe is not deteriorating and not having you to go bare, uh, you know, bare feast again. Instead, having your pickups ready every single time, it's going to be very, very crucial. The next tip I want to give you guys is to acquire, yes, acquire a parachute as quickly as you possibly can. This is going to help you with traversal, and it's also going to help you moving around the game very quickly to be able to do that. Now, since you already have a campfire already set up, this is going to give you an advantage of being able to cook food. 
And having better food than just berries is going to be extremely important. At the early stages, you're going to notice that there's going to be a bunch of berries that you're going to be able to carry and harvest to be able to eat and consume and get your health in. Now, what I'm going to recommend, guys, is to make sure to get better food. And how do you get better food? Well, you're going to look for a pal, and that particular pal is going to give you the advantage of giving you a lot of meat as far as chicken. And that is the chickpea. I think that's how you say his name. The reason why you want to make sure you're not capturing him, you're just pretty much killing him, is because every time you kill him, he's going to be dropping a piece of chicken. And this chicken is going to be used in order to make a chicken kebab, which is going to give you faster health when you're playing the game. So make sure you're getting as much chicken as you possibly can. Okay, so the next step I want to give you guys, and this is going to be a really important, guys, is you want to make sure that you're constantly leveling up your base. So the way you level up your base is by doing the assignments that are found within the PAL box management. And in this area, you're gonna be looking at missions. Look at those missions, complete those missions, and that's gonna allow you to upgrade your base. And when you're upgrading your base, you're gonna get access to not only different items, but you're gonna get access to being able to get more PALs working. So the more PALs that are working in your base, the more faster you're going to be able to get stuff complete. Next tip I want to give you guys, and I don't know if this is a bug or if it's meant to be this way, you're going to want to constantly be looking at your base because sometimes your pals will be a little bit lazy and the game is going to let, them no let you notify that someone's slacking and taking a break. And sometimes that is not the pal's fault. It's just sometimes they get stuck like in a rock or stuck in a little area and you need to un unfreeze them or get them unstuck. So the way I've basically done to remove them is one, either just go pick them up and move them from spot because you can pick them up or you can literally just go ahead and go to the pal box menu and just change the pal and then put the pal back in and that's going to teleport them out of the world and back into the world so that way you could get them unstuck now speaking about picking them up it's going to be important that you keep track of what pal does what i will have a separate video on what are the best pals to do for what but there's going to be certain pals that are going to be very good at certain jobs like for example some are going to be really good at mining some are going to be really good at farming you can literally just assign one specific pal for one specific objective so he's not bouncing back and forth and not an autopilot and this is going to make stuff go a little bit quicker uh, this is more like mid game uh, advantages that you want to do so make sure in order to be able to do that is you want to pick up the pal take him to the location that you want him to be you know his, that his main job drop him there and that's going to assign him to that specific role to make your life and make stuff go a lot faster. All right, so now onto like a kind of a little bit more advanced tip, and this is gonna be pretty much make sure you're constantly leveling up your statue of power. This is gonna be leveled up by finding these little green items in the world, and you're gonna need to find a certain amount to level it up. I would suggest at least hitting level one. What this is gonna do, it's gonna let you capture a bigger and higher level of pals, with, even though you're a little bit under level and the higher you get this the higher it's going to let you capture certain pals a little bit more easier so you constantly want to make sure you upgrade this so that's why we went ahead and picked up the parachute really quickly because that's going to allow us for traversal and one tip i want to give you guys is the game doesn't tell you but the characters are able to climb the rocks like if there were ladders so don't worry if it's like a high ground or like a very difficult area you can literally just climb the rock and be able to make your way up there as quickly as you possibly can these tips should definitely put you guys in the right spot to make sure that you get a really good start at the game and are ready to do your first dungeon or your first boss fight. Now, I will have more in-depth videos going over more advanced stuff here in the game. So you want to make sure you guys keep it locked to the channel, but you probably want to check out this video on how to level up fast right now in PAL world to make sure that not only you're leveling up quickly to capture better PALs, but you're able to do a ton of damage when you're fighting bosses. So definitely stop by and check it out. I hope you guys are enjoying our content. If you are, doing the heat's favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on all those notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos are live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.